these toys can be deadly. And we're not talking about Major Chip Hazard and his Commando Elite. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 dangerous kids' toys. Nice smoke, nice bang. For this list, we're bringing you toys that present a serious health and safety risk to the kids they're marketed to. <laughs> We're excluding toys that are only dangerous when the age guidelines are ignored. If the toy is labeled six and up, it's probably a choking hazard for infants and shouldn't be given to them. So we're ignoring that possibility for now. Number 10, Hannah Montana Pop Star Card Game. To my own girls here with the big butt, shaking it like we on a strip club. Before she became the twerking, wrecking ball riding, controversial pop star we all know and love today, Miley Cyrus was America's sweetheart and role model, Hannah Montana. Well, you know, she's a pop star. You know how they can be. Total divas, I try to avoid them. Little girls around the world wanted anything and everything with her name on it, including this awesome card game. With your set of Hannah Montana cards, um, never been opened. Parents trusted that smiling face, making it a huge surprise that the carrying case contained over 75 times the level of lead legally permitted in consumer goods. Hannah Montana, slowly poisoning children? It's a party in the USA. Even scarier, the card game avoided a recall thanks to a legal loophole, since the lead was found in its vinyl and not its paint, meaning it stayed on shelves and in the hands of kids. I came in like a red. Number nine, Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kids. Wow, she really chews. Step aside, hungry, hungry hippos. Here come the cannibal Cabbage Patch Kids. Snack Time dolls were a must have gift for Christmas 1996. They could bite and swallow plastic food. In the eyes of children, they were as good as human pets, but with no mess on the other end. And when you think she's through, Unfortunately, the dolls couldn't differentiate between plastic food, fingers, and ponytails. Over 100 reports were filed, claiming the jaws clamped down on fingers and hair, slowly pulling them in. In one case, a girl's hair was allegedly ripped down to the scalp. Mattel offered a $40 refund and took these little monsters off the shelves. Number 8. Sky Rangers Park Flyer Radio Controlled Airplane Let's be honest, remote control planes are dangerous even when functioning properly. There's always a risk of them crashing into a window, car, or innocent bystander. Forget with great power. With remote control airplanes comes great responsibility. This plane has a good amount of power. Um, you can launch it at half or three quarters throttle and it takes off and climbs with no trouble. Well, apparently no one told Estes Cox Corp, the makers of the Sky Rangers, who upped the ante by releasing a toy airplane that was prone to spontaneously combusting during takeoff, mid-flight, and while landing. Anytime, really. Oh, and did we mention that you have to throw the plane on takeoff? Its breakaway design prevents you from breaking the prop or bending the motor shaft. Burns, temporary hearing loss, wounded eyes, facial lacerations, and a mandatory recall ensued. When you're ready to have fun, make sure you take along today's best and fast, easy RC flying. Number seven, Zulu Blowing Game. When it comes to toys, the phrase choking hazard holds the title as the biggest buzzword in child safety. But toys from the 1930s through to the 60s seem like they were designed to weed out and kill all but the smartest kids before they reached adulthood. <laughs> the Zulu blowgun from the Zulu blowing game was no exception. These toys essentially streamlined asphyxiation. A number of versions were sold between 1920 and 1960 but they all consisted of a long straw and small, sharp darts. Put a dart in the straw, inhale, put it to your lips, and blow. <laughs> you guessed it, tons of kids got that order wrong and inhaled the darts. Ouch. Number six, 
Battlestar Galactica Colonial Viper. Remember a simpler time when companies didn't have to cover their products and warnings? The early version um, has a missile that fires out of the front of the ship. The people at Mattel sure do. In the late 70s, there were three reported cases of children accidentally shooting themselves in the face with the spring-loaded missile of the Colonial Viper, inhaling or swallowing the missile and choking. Reset catapult. Viper's on target. One of these incidents sadly resulted in the death of a four-year-old child. Let's go in. Following a recall, Mattel began to place choking hazard stickers on all of their toys with small parts, a precaution that would go on to become mandatory for all toy manufacturers. I find your reasoning logical. Number 5. CSI – Crime Scene Investigation Fingerprint Examination Kit Before we get into what makes this toy dangerous, let's just acknowledge the fact that toys for children should have never been made based on the CSI television franchise, considering the grisly subject matter. <laughs> Looks like the planet Krypton. Kids should not be fans of this series, period. My nipples are all better, you wanna yeah, see? Yeah. Turns out this toy set was not only inappropriate, but also poisonous. The powder used for fingerprinting was proven to contain asbestos, which when inhaled can cause deadly respiratory issues and even cancer later on in life. This resulted in a class action lawsuit against CBS, the network that licensed the toy. In the wake of the public relations nightmare, the manufacturer, Planet Toys, filed for bankruptcy. This is an outrage. I demand an investigation. Number four, moon shoes. Nothing compares to new Nickelodeon moon shoes. Not so fast. You don't know what you're missing until you've tried sponge shoes. Swings, trampolines, it seems like childhood is all about trying to launch your body as high as possible. The first generation of moon shoes was released in the 1950s. Made of a type of metal, these shoes locked your feet in like roller skates and used springs to help you reach the stars. Oh, watch the fan. They were also incredibly heavy, resulting in a lot of property damage when kids landed on household items and injuries when kids botched a landing, rolled an ankle, or broke mom and dad's toes. Ow! God! Nickelodeon released a much safer plastic version in the 90s, but sprained and broken ankles continued, minus the fun. <laughs> Number three, Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory. This year at Gilbert, we present the finest toy line in our history. This is our story. Between 1910 and 1950, the AC Gilbert Company was a big name in toys. Their 1913 Erector set was one of the best-selling toys the world had ever seen. And over the next 40 years, the company continued to put out a wide variety of scientific playsets that were quite dangerous by modern standards. Gilbert has made this exciting science available in safe and easy to understand form. The chemistry set taught young kids to make explosives. The glass blowing kit involved temperatures close to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. But the atomic energy lab wins for most absurd with multiple kinds of uranium, a Geiger counter to measure radioactivity, and a cloud chamber to observe alpha particles in action. Russell, don't touch that. It could be radioactive or something. Number two, toy guns, including BB guns. Guns. It doesn't matter if kids are raised by registered NRA members or in strictly anti-gun households. They love playing with toy guns. Maybe it's the speed of the projectiles, the loud noises, the influence of popular TV characters, or all of the above. BB and airsoft guns can take an eye out, paintballs leave a serious bruise, and cap guns often lead to burns. There are over 200 instances of toy guns being mistaken for real firearms per year in the United States. What, what does it look like to you? While many toy guns are not inherently dangerous, they often look like the real deal and can lead to serious injury or death. Oh, oh, shit. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 
Number one, lawn darts. When we were kids, there weren't that many dumb kids because we had toys that would kill you. Remember lawn darts? A cross between horseshoes and darts. These oversized projectiles have plastic fins and big rounded weighted metal or sometimes plastic tips that ensure they fly true and land point first. Simple outdoor fun for the whole family, until someone gets seriously or fatally wounded by a stray dart. Also known as jarts or yard darts, they were popular in the 1950s but were later banned because of injuries. The ban was lifted in the 1970s under the condition they never be marketed to kids. When a seven-year-old girl was killed by one, it proved that the regulation couldn't keep them out of the hands of kids. So this led to a strict ban in the United States. Do you agree with our list? Remember any particularly dangerous toys from when you were a kid? Jump! Jump! Moon shoes! Invisible shoes! For more notorious top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You can check out my whole pack of gun videos. So, see you guys. It's all my guns.